Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing my makeup and answering lots of your random fun questions. I've made my frothy coffee, um, banana bright face primer. My skin has like, it got a bit better and it's sort of go gone backwards again. I'm still in contact with my skincare lady so um i've been really wanting to film another like a skincare update video but i thought maybe i'll just pause it it's obviously really tricky trying to deal with like really bad pigmentation and everything um when you can't have someone like be hands-on with your skin i've been told a few times that microneedling would be really good for my skin um i'm scared to do it myself <laughs> i know obviously you can do it at home but i'm just it seems a little bit scary, but that's, I think, definitely what my skin needs. Anywho, I asked you guys for your questions on Instagram, so I'm just gonna go through them. I miss doing my makeup so much. I do, I've been doing like a little bit, so maybe like the It Cosmetics CC Cream, and like I'll just do my brows and maybe put mascara on. That's literally been like all I've been doing. Um, and, you know, I love my beauty products, so I just have, when I go to do my makeup now, it's almost like I forget what I'm doing too. So I'm really, it'll be really nice to like properly do my makeup. <laughs> Is it called like a fox eye or a foxy eye or something? I might do that sort of thing. So anyway, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk 7.5. I want you to rock the boat, rock the boat. I was listening to like old 90s songs before this. It gets you in such a good mood. Do you know what is so funny and so shameful? <laughs> I, I don't know how old I was. I think I was like eight or something, but I used to think a Leah song more than a woman was more than, I, I couldn't figure out if it was, it was one of the two. It was either more than a lemon or more than a llama, but go and listen to it. <laughs> Cause if you're a, a child, like you could hear those words as the words, but I think I was a very strange child also. <laughs> more than a lemon. Wow, I'm not even starting the questions. Okay. Uh, will you ever have your natural hair out for a long period of time? I do want to, that is, that's been my goal for so long and that's why I chopped it off because then I wanted it to get into better, a better condition to be able to wear it out and I just want to grow it uh, to like a length where I feel really comfortable wearing it out. Yeah, but I, I'm, I really want to do braids. I did um, passion twists on myself the other week. Um, but yeah, I also like want to do, you know, I want to wear more protective styles that are <laughs> not wigs. Definitely this summer, I want to wear a lot more like braids and stuff. And then, yeah, just, just grow my hair. Uh, and do you know what? A big thing is just me learning my hair and learning how to style it and uh, what the best products are to use on it um, too. So it's not just that I don't want to... Like, I don't want to wear it out or whatever. It's that I'm trying to still learn the best ways to, like, wear it naturally. But I've been deep conditioning it a lot. Um, sorry, this isn't a fun question <laughs> for me to answer for you guys. But yeah, I've been deep condition conditioning it a lot during lockdown. I've been using, like, black castor oil and, um, and everything. And I think it's really helping. Anyway, let's get on to a more fun question. Ooh, favorite place in America? That's hard because I obviously haven't, I haven't like traveled all around America. That's always been a dream of mine though, to do like an American road trip. Um, but from the places I've been, probably New York. I feel like that's gonna be such like a generic answer. But I love New York so much. I love it. I feel like I'm blonde again, everyone. <laughs> I can never make my mind up with my hairs. My hairs. Um, yeah, I want to go blonde. I think it's the weather. Would you ever come to Stockholm? Yes, absolutely. I'm dying to go. You got, I mean, if you, you know me, I want to go everywhere. Like, I want to visit every city in the world. So, wherever you are, yeah, I probably want to come now. <laughs> I really like beauty blenders, but I feel like they take so long. It's just like the process takes so long. Did you ever find it hard being a working mum? Yeah! The worst part for me is the guilt. I think I, I find it so hard to know if I like I'm working too much, if I'm not giving her enough time and attention. Um, and then I'll sort of end up, especially during quarantine too, I'll like work less because I feel really bad that she's at home and I'm not like, um, I don't know, like, I don't want her to look back and be like, oh, she was always working. Like when we've got a proper routine, it's a little bit easier because I'm just in the routine and I know that's 
that's that. Um, but I think, yeah, it, it's always hard. But I also am always thinking, well, I'm working hard so that she can have this life and that so she can have uh, hopefully a great future too. So it's like, you know, one and the other sides to it. Oh, a few people asked about my skin, so I covered that in the beginning. Um, ooh, what's your favorite perfume ever? I feel like it might have to be Tom Ford. Um, oh, the purple one. Where, where is it? I think it's this one. I love this scent. It's Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. So Black Orchid, I feel like is obviously really, really well known. Uh, but I think I, oh, it's so beautiful. I love Velvet or Orchid. It, but it's very strong. You have to sort of be in the mood for it. But just Google the notes because I'm not very good at explaining things, but it's very musky, but creamy, sexy. Who, what character would I say this smells like? Okay, this is a, gonna be a weird reference, maybe to some of you, not to me, because I'm a film nerd, but in The Matrix Reloaded, the second one, you know like the vampire-y one <laughs> that kisses him and she's like super sexy? That's what I think she would smell like. <laughs> anyway, I've been obsessed with this Hourglass Concealer since I got it, um, it's because it, it's like a fairly new launch. Um, I highly recommend it. It's amazing, and because I really suffer with dark circles, like I always say, so if you do too, then um, it's amazing. Um, the colour I use is in Beach. Does anyone else have like every TikTok song stuck in their head constantly? It's like I'll have one stuck in my head and then like another one will just pop in like, my heart went oops. <laughs> if you had all the money, if you had all the money, where would you buy a house and what would the, bleh, bleh, what would be your interior inspo? That's such a good question. Um, oh God. Okay, if I had all the money, I'd buy multiple houses. <laughs> but if we're just talking in the UK, it would probably be in like Portobello, like, I mean, like Notting Hill or somewhere really nice in East London or something like, I don't know. And my interior inspo, there's an Instagram account that I follow and, and I think she's like building her, she's like an interior account and I think she's like building her house at the moment and it looks stunning and maybe I'll like link it down below because I, it's hard to, I can't obviously explain <laughs> what the interior inspo is exactly, but it's quite scandy. And I'll link her Instagram below and that is like my main interior inspo. I'm gonna go with this like reddish brown here. I'm gonna do that sort of brown flicking up, <laughs> brown flicking up eye. <laughs> so professional. <laughs> Oh, damn it, <laughs> I forgot to do the lid, I need to do the lid. I go so quiet when I'm doing my shadow. It's so funny, like I'm really confident with my uh, winged liner, but with eyeshadow, I'm always like, oh my God, it's not even, it's not even. <laughs> I think that's about even. So I had a good question actually. I'm struggling to separate my home from work. How do I make the time spent different? And obviously I'm someone who's worked from home for ages. Um, and I didn't know whether to answer this at first because I know there's so much content out there at the moment about like how to separate your work from life, like your home and stuff. But what I do is, um, so first off, try, try to set yourself some sort of routine like you don't have to stick to it 100 percent, but it just gives you a bit of you know somewhere to something to work around but if you can set up an area in your home which is like your little sort of working corner or working desk um and take like any distractions in that space away too so that you're like fully focused when you're there <clears throat> um set yourself like breakfast time lunch times dinner times don't miss those you know, points of the day. Um, also give yourself breaks too. For me anyway, when I'm stuck into work, I'm like stuck into it. I forget about what time it is. And I like, I could just be there for like hours and hours straight working. So, but it's healthy obviously for us to like still 
have those breaks away from work because you know no one's forcing you to have a break but breaks away from work help you when you come back you see everything with fresher eyes and um, so yeah still make sure you're having some break times um also just uh, when you're done like say at 6 p.m you're done so don't like work in try not to if you can to work into the night and it can be really really tempting because you know you can um but i had to learn it the hard way but um it's just not worth like burning the midnight oil <laughs> is that the phrase um for me it just really started damaging my mental health and um i just didn't have any time for myself and it's just like a vicious cycle because you wake up so tired so yeah make sure you're having your like relaxing time at night still. I'm gonna put a bit of a darker brown in I think, just like on this, on that edge there. I love these Huda Beauty brushes, they're so good, honestly. I was sent them in a PR package. I love these brushes, like they're really, really good. I also love this palette. It's the KKW Beauty one um, in Classic. I love it, I wanna get some more. It's also ruined by Indie. <laughs> low-key room by Indy, but yeah, I, I really like these shadows. I'm just going to take that warm shadow under. I'm just going to do my mascara and then I'll be back with you. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put false lashes on because I don't want it to look too, too much. My lashes are also finally growing after I'm um, having lash extensions for ages and then I think they got really, really short and sort of weak. Um, so I'm happy. <laughs> They're finally coming back. This is the Lancome Mons Mons Monsieur Big <laughs> Mascara. I love this one. gonna use roller lash on my bottom lashes just because it's a bit better for like it's really good at separating and getting really small lashes and I'm just gonna put a, a light color in my waterline oh that's a good question uh, what tanning products would you recommend for mixed race skin tones like yours so I've only I honestly haven't used that many like it's not something that I really reused much at all before lockdown <laughs> also it's something new to just do <laughs> i've been um i've been fake tanning like just once a week and so i've been using the bondi sands ultra dark uh for two weeks now before that i was using their i think it's called the aero one i think it's a bit of a newer one uh, which i really really liked that it's just a it's a touch light um whereas i quite like the ultra dark for like getting my our skin tones that are tanned. Isle of Paradise products too, and I really wanna give them a go too actually, because I've heard they're great. But let me know too, if you're mixed race, shit, <laughs> I just got it on my top. What do you use? What are you missing most about the outside world? Um, obviously coffee and coffee shops, but... <laughs> um just just the general freedom i think just to like go go to two different places you know um just to do something to do it um oh i mean there's loads of oh my god to really really missing the gym just having a place to go for yourself like for your mental health uh um because i've been doing like bits of working out at home but this has made me really realize i don't really don't love working out at home i like don't feel as motivated i mean i know that's probably quite usual but i don't know it's just i never feel like i get like i've done some really really good workouts and hit workouts and stuff but i just still don't feel like i'm getting like getting as exhausted as i could be um yeah so going to london i just miss going to london and just like walking around and like exploring Ooh, that's a good question first holiday destination you're likely to visit when covid is over 
Ibiza. I'd love to go to Mexico. I'd love it. Uh, oh, there's there's so many. Honestly, just please book me a ticket anywhere. Like I don't even care at this point. But yeah, just some just somewhere with sun, I think, and fun. Sun and fun, and lots of alcohol. So I was going to use this this at the beginning, and I totally forgot. It's the but I've been loving this. I've really rediscovered this. Tried it ages ago and I just thought oh it's not really working for me and then I just it's just been in my collection since and then I saw Lydia using it yeah she made me dig it out again because it just looks amazing on her um it's the brightening cc serum um it's like the the bronzy one so I've been using it over my foundation and sometimes under um and usually I use my duo fiber brush but I think Indy put it in <laughs> It's got loads of blusher on it at the moment. I've been liking just putting it over my foundation, but just here, just to give me this like glowy look. And I find that it disappears really quickly. Like sometimes I end up using quite a lot, but I love the result. And on the nose too, just gives you that nice like glowy, glowy look. <laughs> I like this question. What's your least favourite thing to do? Oh, that's a good question. That's something that I don't think about. Um, that's hard. I want to say like give a presentation on something or something like that. What comes to mind is like having to be around people that I just don't like and that I have to just like sit and and just like wait until it's over, <laughs> like wait until it's over and I just don't want to be there. I hate being in like situations where I just, no, I like, I just do not get on with this person. I don't know. I think in general also, I just don't like being told what to do. So anything where like I've been told I have to do it, I'm quite stubborn. How are you doing lately? Hope you and your family are well. Thank you. Um, honestly, I'm finding it quite a struggle. I'm just gonna put some like faux freckles on. It's been nice like sitting and filming this and just like not, you know, just doing something fun because it's honestly like, it's a struggle. Like, and it's, I think at first it was also different and we were trying to get used to it. So I was like, it was sort of easier in a way. And at this point it's just, I'm finding it quite difficult to like manage my mental health well and, and yeah, like keep a toddler entertained and, and like look after myself too. Yeah. I've been better, I'll be honest. But I hope you, oh, I hope you guys are doing well though. But I, I just keep trying to like remind myself it's, you know, it's not gonna be forever. And it's, you know, in, I think of the quote, this too shall pass, like it, it will be over. You just have to take each day as it comes. And also I try and let, if I'm like having a bad day, I try not to beat myself up about it. And I just accept that I'm having a bad day. So yeah. Aww, what's your favorite thing to do with Indy? I really love baking with her. Um, and I love doing physical things like swimming or like yesterday I taught her how to do a roly-poly. That was so cute. Um, so yeah, I like doing things as opposed to, I mean, does that make any sense? I, I love teaching her things. Like all day she can ask me questions about things and I'll love to answer her just to teach her new things. Um, it's really like rewarding. <laughs> how late has TikTok kept you up all night? Make me feel better. <laughs> God, it's so addictive, isn't it? Like, I'll go to bed at, I don't know, 11, 12, and then I'll go on TikTok and then look up and it's 1 a.m., like 2 a.m. <laughs> it's so addictive. I think it's because it's new too, so it's like such an interesting app. Like a whole new, you know, it's a whole new load of content, so, and it's so short and digestible. I don't know if you guys can see the freckles, but I'm obviously, I don't wanna make them too big and unrealistic just to show it on camera, just so it shows on camera, because obviously I have to wear this in real life. <laughs> oh, favorite condiment. That's a good question. Um, hmm. I love just a good ketchup. 
teriyaki sauce, I go through that, or like teriyaki dressing, I go through that through that so much because I put it on like fish, I put it on veggies, like everything. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I love hot sauce. Oh my god, hot sauce. And it's isn't it so addictive? Like once you have hot sauce on, the more things you have hot sauce on, you can't have anything without it on anymore. <laughs> have you ever felt like Truman from the Truman Show? <laughs> yes. Um, I feel like that's what my whole life feels like. Um, but obviously willingly. I don't know, I was gonna use some Fenty bronzer. But I don't know if I need, and I don't want to like map down the the glowy product. So I might just put some lip product on. Back to this, it's the NARS Blonde Venus Lipstick. I love it, it's just such a go-to. It's like my go-to nude at the moment. Is that like a bit boring? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a bit of Super 90s, it's a bit, it's more brown. I feel like this is the same look that I always do. Okay, last question, because we're all in lockdown. <laughs> when will the lockdown end in your opinion? I don't know. Oh wait, I haven't set off my face. Ooh. By the way, my top is from Zara, in case anyone might ask. It's got like the, the padded shoulders and I love it, I wanna get it in more colors. And I got it in size medium. I locked it, oh, that's so hard. So I wanna say like right now when I'm filming this, they're saying like, uh, I think it's like the 8th, 10th of May or something like that. I feel like it's gonna be extended or I think it's gonna be such a slow, I think it's gonna be like such a slow release from lockdown that it like won't feel like lockdown when they say it's, oh, when it's finished, you know what I mean? I feel like it will proper, properly maybe be over at the end of June, but we'll see. So this is my look. It would look properly like finished with lashes, but I'm, I'm not gonna put any on today just cause I don't always feel like putting lashes on. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've liked this and hopefully it's just given you a bit of distraction and just something to listen to. Everything I've used, I'll link down below and I'll put like any things I've mentioned to, I'll link down below. Go follow me blah, blah, blah. Go follow me on TikTok if you're over there too. Um, I'm loving it, I'm having so much fun over there. And um, it's just Sammy Maria. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.